short video is to be done on a chair. Great one to do in the middle of your work day to help open up the spine. So the spine is the main channel of energy between the brain and the body. And if the spine is clogged due to posture kind of like this, what happens is that we can start to feel really mentally fatigued throughout the day. So we're gonna get used to start by sitting up nice and tall, lift your head up as high as you can up towards your ceiling and then drop your shoulders away from your ears. Now start by closing your eyes and taking a few long deep breaths. And as you start to bring energy into your spine through your breath, the whole body will start to come alive and the whole brain as well will start to be activated. Take three more big deep breaths in, increasing the space in between the vertebrae and the spine every time you inhale and every time you exhale. Good, one more full deep breath in. Clearing out your day so far, exhaling. Good, opening up your eyes. We're gonna start with a sequence called cat-cow. So cat-cow is usually done on your hands and your knees in regular yoga in the tabletop position. What it looks like like this, stay facing your screen, is we're gonna go inhale forwards, exhale back. So just going like this, naturally your hands might move back and forth a little bit as you roll your spine. So inhaling forward, exhaling back, or you can just keep your hands in the same place. I'd like you to close your eyes now that you know what you're doing. It's a nice way to get out of your head and into your body. And often when we're feeling a little bit stressed at work, it is because we haven't given our body any attention. And it's our body that gives us signals all day and we often ignore it. So a few little movements like this in your spine is going to help to really open up your body for the day. All right. So now what we're going to do, open your eyes just to see what I'm doing. And interlace your hands above your head. You're going to do the same thing with your body, but you're going to use your hands like this. So I'll show you from the side. So inhale, arms go up. Exhale, arms lean back. Okay, take it up. And down like this. So as you're moving through it again, you can close your eyes if you want. Or what you can do as you're closing your eyes is hold the pose a little bit longer at the top. Take a few deep breaths here, really feeling energy move into your lungs. So this is a good one to do if you're feeling tired. Often your lungs are collapsing inwards through four postures. So opening up your lungs, lifting your arms up over your head brings energy down into the heart for the circulation. Good, now come down like this. Take your shoulder blades back and push your palms towards the screen. So this is a really good one for upper back pain. If you're feeling quite tense in your shoulders, this is a good one. So slightly bend the elbows and imagine you're trying to pull your fingers apart. Take one more big deep breath in, exhale. And we'll just finish with a couple more fast ones. Inhale up and exhale down. So your spine is often, like I said, quite clogged. It's almost like thinking of a motorway with lots of traffic. So as you start to open your body up like this, everything starts flowing freely and it positively impacts on your mood, your behavior, your productivity, and your creativity. Good, now just bring your arms down. They're probably quite tired now with your palms lifting up. Close your eyes. Just feel everything you've awoken within already. Take a breath and sigh it out. Good, take one more inhale and exhale. Good, we're gonna interlace our hands again. This time we're gonna lean over to one side. Now what you're gonna do is keep your hands interlaced and stretch over and start to drop the bottom arm a little bit and keep the top arm straight. This will lengthen the sides of the waist. And the sides of the waist get quite tight when we're sitting at a desk all day. Now what happens, keep staying here, but I'll just mimic what's happening is as your posture comes down, these muscles get shorter. And if you're trying to lengthen your spine without these muscles being extended, it's gonna be really challenging. It's like swimming upstream. So hold for one more breath in. Good, come back to center. Come down and just feel how much longer you feel on the side already. Take the arms up again, take an inhale, lean over to one side. Good, and stretch from the hip all the way up to the shoulder, shoulder all the way up to the wrist. So close your eyes, take a long breath in and take a long breath out. Really feel the breath going deep into your body. Good, now come all the way up. There's a slight variation we can do now. We're just gonna take our arms up. As you lean over to one side, take the bottom hand and grab onto the top wrist and just gently pull it over. This one sometimes feels a little bit better. You get a little bit more action in the shoulders. Good, relax your breath, take one more inhale and back up to center, good, come down. Take your arms up again, inhale, reach up and over. 
And as you're doing these exercises, any ones that you really feel might help you, you can just do throughout the day. You don't always have to come back to this video. You'll start defining what helps you the most and then come all the way up and down. Okay, now what we're gonna do is one of my favorites, the twist for your spine. Now, I'll show you from the side. When we're slopes like this, the bones in the vertebrae are all talking, the bones in the spine, which are called the vertebrae. So if you're trying to twist when they're touching, bones don't twist, obviously. So you have to think of lengthening and then turning. So crown of the head up towards the sky, tall posture, shoulders back, and then we twist. So lift up nice and tall, turn to the side. You can do a little gentle twist. I'm sure you sometimes do this at your desk anyway. Sometimes people just rock back and forth side to side to open up their body, but turning to the side. So taking one hand across the leg. What you can do if you've got a back on your chair is you can take your hand behind here, almost like you're putting your arm around somebody and lean to the side and lift up. So what this, this is gonna do is gonna open your chest and your shoulders. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Two more deep inhales and exhales. And if this is ever too much, just bring your hand down. It's a very detoxifying pose, this twist. It's a good one to do before lunch. It helps your body, your digestive system get ready for the food that's coming so it can assimilate the nutrients into your body. Good, come back to center. Let yourself slouch so you feel the difference between slouching and tall posture. Lift up nice and tall, other side. So turn to the side. Let your breath guide you there. So let your inhale lift you. Let your exhale twist you. Again, inhale lift. Exhale twist. You can keep it quite simple and just go like this. Or if you want, you can reach your hand behind. Stretch the crown of the head up to the sky. Take a big deep breath in. And a big deep breath out. Closing your eyes here. Resting your whole body. Trying to stay really relaxed in your energy. So often we have a bit of a tight clenching feeling within us. Just set the intention that the overall feel of your body is relaxed for this moment. Good, take one more deep breath in. And deep breath out. Good, and then come back to center and roll it up. Good. Last one we're gonna do is take your hands either behind the chair or interlace your hands behind the chair. So it will look like this. You can have to lean forwards a little bit so your hands go back, or you can grab onto the back of the chair like this. You're just gonna send your lungs and your heart forward. So I'm gonna grab onto the back of the chair and lean like this. Good, take a big deep breath in, close your eyes. Exhale, so this is a great one to do if you're on a call, because you can still have your earphones on and just breathe into it. Especially if you're just on a phone call rather than a video call. Try to always think of keeping your lungs really open here so the energy can get into your body. Close your eyes, take one more big deep breath in and big deep breath out and then come back to center. Last one we're gonna do, and then one more on. Take your hands behind your head for a cat cow. Inhale up, exhale down. So from the side, inhale up, arms back, exhale down. Same thing as before, if you wanna get a lot of energy in, if you're feeling tight in your shoulders, pause and hold this for a little bit. Try to take your elbows out of your gaze. This is just a great one again to do maybe when you're on a, on a phone call and you're just feeling a little bit of tightness in your shoulders. And then obviously if your upper body is tight, you might wanna hold this one a little bit longer. Push your head up into your hands, but equally push your hands into your head. Good, and then we'll finish with four more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Close your eyes for the last three. Good, finishing off here. One more inhale, open up. Exhale down. Great, sitting up, finishing with your eyes closed, feet flat on the ground. Notice how much taller you feel in your body, how much more space you've created. Internally, everything all the way down to the cells are really alive now. Circulation is moving, the nervous system is more balanced. Your immune system is even stronger when we focus on our body. Take one big long breath in and side out. Great, open up your eyes. Thank you for joining me today.